Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode. In this one, I'd like to discuss about inhalers and the timing of taking inhalers throughout the day. Should you be taking them in the morning, afternoon, twice a day, depending on the inhaler type. The reason why I'm making this episode is because I received a comment on my channel, which is really interesting. First of all, because someone, I'm not sure if Alex W, who actually wrote this comment, is Romanian or maybe he just used some Romanian words. I am Romanian, so obviously it's always nice when I when I see some words in my own language. So he said hello, which means uh, hi, or we say sometimes good day, as in bună ziua, this is the, the word. And then thanks is uh, mulțumesc. So thank you for, for using the Romanian words. Again, I'm not sure, I have a suspicion. You may be Romanian, but if, if you're not, fantastic. Thank you very much for using that. But let me just read out the, the question that I received. So is it more effective to use uh, so this is in relation, sorry, it's in relation to a video where I was showing the inhaler technique for Spiriva or Spiolto inhalers. These are usually used in, Spiolto is mostly used in COPD, Spiriva can sometimes be used in asthma as well. So is it more effective to use this inhaler in the morning, afternoon, or before going to sleep? Example, I am going for a 10k run outside. Will it help my performance if I use the inhaler before? Also, should I use it at the same time every day? So there are basically three questions in one here and quite a few topics to cover. So let's just slowly uh, get into it. First of all, should you be using the inhaler in the morning, afternoon, or before going to sleep? Now, if you are using a 24, an inhaler that is used only once a day, let's say Spialto or Spiriva, which are used once a day, it doesn't really matter that much what time of the day you are taking it. However, that being said, you need to imagine how the drug might work. And I think if you understand that, that's going to help a lot. So if you're having a treatment with an inhaler that is recommended to be taken once a day, it means that the pharmacology of the medication that you're inhaling has a peak immediately. So after you've inhaled the medication around the airways, you will reach a maximum concentration relatively quickly. And then the concentration of that medication will start to slowly wean, go down slowly, slowly over 24 hours. Now, it doesn't necessarily reach zero at the 24 hour point. However, the effect might sort of slightly become less and less pronounced as you're approaching that 24 hour mark. And there is probably a cutoff around the 24 hour mark when it no longer becomes as effective as you would want. So that's why you would want to use it roughly around the same time of the day. And I think that covers the third part of the question that I received. But also, if you imagine that you're doing most of your activities in the morning, early afternoon, things like that, you may want to consider using the inhaler earlier in the morning. Now, obviously, this may differ depending on how you are, <laughs> how your life is structured or how you respond to the medication. And if your doctor has advised you to use it at a specific time of the, the day or the evening because they suspect that it may help you in that sense better, by all means, go with what your doctor has said. Wh whatever I'm telling you on this channel is not medical advice in your own specific case. It's just general medical knowledge that I like to share. So if you think that most of the activities are done in the morning, it might potentially be helpful to use the inhaler earlier in the day. Now, this is only valid, what I'm saying now, is only valid for inhalers that are used every 24 hours or once every 24 hours, let's say. There are, however, inhalers that are used twice a day. And this is the case for most or the most common inhalers used, for example, in asthma. So things like Foster, Foster or Symbicort, Ceratide. These are inhalers that are generally prescribed twice a day. Now, the reason why they're prescribed twice a day is because, as I was mentioning to you, the pharmacology, the way that medication is absorbed in the tissues, suggests that the the action, the duration of action of these medications contained within these combination inhalers only lasts for about 12 hours. So that's why you would want to use them twice a day in order to get the maximum sort of benefit throughout the 24 hour cycle. So that makes absolute sense. Now, depending on how well controlled the asthma is in that case, this is where it becomes a little bit nuanced. Sometimes you may be able to only use one of these 12 hour inhalers only once a day because it is enough to control the inflammation. This is a very nuanced discussion and it goes down into the scientific parts of the, uh, the way medications work. So for example, in the case of asthma, 
The combination inhalers that um, are prescribed twice a day usually contain a combination of a corticosteroid and inhaled an inhaled corticosteroid, which is basically an anti-inflammatory drug, and the bronchodilator, or a medication that keeps the airways open. Now, if the inflammation in the airways is not very strong, it may be enough to only use it once a day, and that would be enough to keep the asthma under control. It's also to do with the natural cycles in uh, corticosteroids that are produced by our own body. So it may be enough to just use it once a day because your body is also contributing to the anti-inflammatory effect. This is the, the nuanced part and it's a little bit going into the scientific part a little bit too, too deeply, I think. Simply put, if you are doing most of your activities during the day and you're using the inhaler during the day, sometimes it may be enough. But if in most cases it, the, the medication would be prescribed twice a day in that specific sense. Now, obviously, this is becoming a little bit complicated. So let me just go back to the question and answer the middle part, because I think I've clarified the fact that it's best to use it at the same time every day, because that will give you a most consistent effect. And then if you're doing most of the activities in the morning, if you have a 24 hour uh, inhaler, once, uh, once a day inhaler, it's best to use it earlier in the day. But then this can vary based on your individual circumstances. Then this example in the question i'm going for a 10k run outside this is first of all fantastic so if you're having a chronic respiratory disease and you're doing 10k runs congratulations to you keep going this is the right way to do it so will it help will the inhaler help the performance if i use the if i use it before going for the 10k run potentially yes so like i was mentioning before if you are going for this 10k run at lunchtime let's say or early in the morning, potentially you would want to use the inhaler before going on the run. Now, it might take a bit of time for the inhaler to kick in. So depending how your chest is going, how where your asthma is controlled, or if you're suffering with COPD, again, that's a more, uh, that's a different condition. So in asthma, how, how shall I explain this more simply? So in asthma, you have a variable disease. Your respiratory symptoms will vary. You'll have good days, bad days, etc. In COPD, the respiratory symptoms that you're experiencing are generally more stable. So you do have symptoms most days. Now, if you're using the inhaler before going on the run, you need to imagine that it will take a little bit of time for the inhaler effect to kick in. So if you're using one of these inhalers to bronchodilate in order to open up the airways, you might want, depending on the type of inhaler that you're using, to take it maybe 10 minutes before or maybe an hour before. So so generally, there are two inhalers which have a relatively quick onset of action in terms of uh, controller medication. So here I'm talking about long-term inhalers. So if you're talking about Symbicort and Foster, these are two inhalers which usually have a quick onset of action of the bronchodilator effect, of this effect of opening up the airways. This is not necessarily the case for an inhaler like serotide. So serotide is a different type of combination inhaler, also prescribed twice a day, like Foster or uh, Symbicort, but its onset of action in terms of the bronchodilator effect, of the effect of opening up the airways and making the breathing easier, it's a little bit slower. It's still very effective, but it doesn't peak as early as the other two. So you may want to take this one a little bit sooner before you're going to have uh, to do exercise. But in the question that I received, the question was around Spiriva or Spioto, which are bronchodilator inhalers that are usually given on top of other types of therapies for, for asthma or for COPD. In this case, there isn't going to be a very quick onset of action generally, because these are inhalers that are, like I was mentioning before, are designed to be used once every roughly 24 hours. So they will have a milder sort of slope of that peak of concentration in the tissues. So I think all of these things are quite important to to take into account. So if you are planning to do some activity that is quite strenuous, I would say it's probably a good idea to use the inhaler before, but generally to keep using the inhaler at the same time of the day. But all that sometimes can lead to patients 
becoming overly obsessed about the timing of medication. And I th don't think that's how you should approach these respiratory conditions. If you are suffering from asthma, from COPD, or another chronic respiratory condition, and you are taking inhalers, you should remember that these treatments have been designed to help you breathe better in over the long run. So you may still have good days and bad days, but overall, you shouldn't be obsessing about the timing too much because your quality of life should be improved by being long-term on this treatment. So ideally, overall, your symptoms should be better. And just tweaking the timing of the inhaler by five minutes here and there, it's probably not going to make a huge difference. Even a few hours uh, difference from one day to the next is probably not going to make a huge difference. However, I would advocate keeping a rough timetable of when you're taking the inhaler. So if you're used to taking your inhaler before breakfast, then, well, maybe that's probably a good consistent time to take it every day. Or if you know, you're know you taking an inhaler around lunchtime when you're having your lunch, you, know, you can time it around your meals more or less. There's no interaction with food generally with inhalers because you're inhaling them into your lungs. You're not swallowing any tablets but just sort of keeping track of when you're using the inhalers. Just don't use it whenever you remember to, to take it. That's probably not the best way. But I think understanding how the drugs work, how long they act for, is probably going to help you a lot in determining the timing of inhaler administration. So hopefully this was a relatively helpful uh, little video or audio episode depending on where you're listening and if you have further questions do head over to the youtube channel so it's uh, dr stefan uh, christian stanel it's a little bit hard to spell this but i'm pretty sure you'll find the link in the description of this episode and you can leave any questions you have there i also have a twitter channel so i think you can you can also check it out there if you have any other further questions you can follow me on twitter sc stanel and uh, that's my tw Twitter handle. And then hopefully um, I'll keep answering these questions for as long as I can, because I enjoy making these, uh, these episodes for you. Thank you very much for watching and all the best and good health.